Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. I'll admit, little salty, little, just the slightest bit of sodium chloride going on at the way that the last run ended. This is uh, RY0X. Big T! What a great finish there. Obviously, it's B1GT. But Big T. Ryox Big T. Sounds like a professional wrestler in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe. Anyway. Hopefully we get a bomb. That early tinted rock is a pretty huge get as blue baby, please. Thank you, okay. Maybe another penny there, no, such luck. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very disappointed with the way that the last run went down. We didn't get screwed by the Isaac's Heart pickup. We got screwed by the Curse of Blindness. That's the way that I'm gonna choose to think about it. Um, it it's, not the, it's not a thing that was unavoidable, but you know, I, a man has his limits, right? I'm not going to stop picking up items in the chest because Curse of Blindness might give me soy milk. That's some lame-ass shit right there. Instead, I'm just going to say that, you know, like a 1 in 50 thing, or a, a chance, or a 1... <laughs> something that had a 1 in 50 percent... I can't speak. Something that had a 2 percent chance of happening, happened. And that's not my fault, it's, nor is it the game's fault. That's just how it's going to happen sometimes. So be it. Not even, it's even lower than a, than a 1 in 50 chance, because we had to have Curse of Blindness as well, but anyway. It's probably like a 1 in 200 or 300 chance, but anyway. Shit happens. As far as I'm concerned, we played well on the last run, got a little bit screwed with Isaac's heart, but probably, you know, still could have pulled it out if we'd gotten particularly lucky, but l let's stop dwelling on that. That's a loss that in some ways I can feel good about, because it wasn't like I just threw it away, it was just like some... Rather unfortunate uh, turn of events. Bad dice rolls. It happens. Uh, this is the one time that I've got too many keys and would rather have a bomb instead, but that's all right. Two keys is pretty good. Too many keys. That'll be stuck in my and your heads for now probably years. Hopefully maybe we get the cardboard box or something and then have the opportunity to pick up a bomb here, but I doubt it's going to happen and we're probably going to end up having to leave our... Uh, our tinted rocks behind. The other thing that could happen that would work out just fine is if we picked up uh, Pageant Boy. Gives us at least seven cents enough to buy a bomb. Then we could at least get one of those tinted rocks, but you know, I'd rather just get something like Squeezy straight up. Get a Tears upgrade and the two straight spirit hearts than have to muck about with like, oh, I got a bomb, let's launder that bomb into a bomb and a key for, via that tinted rock. Let's go to the other tinted rock and the other tinted rock pays out with like a golden chest or something. We open it up and then it contains a spirit heart and a key, you know. Basically what I'm getting at is I'd rather just, you know, K-I-S-S, -S, you know, keep it simple, Sherlock. I know it's keep it simple, stupid. I wanted to avoid the harsh language associated with my generation. What did I say? Squeezy, straight up. One of the best items you can get uh, as Blue Baby, especially early. Finance is a deal with the devil if we're lucky enough or good enough to not take damage on this floor, or at least take very little damage. There's another Tinted Rock, which she might take as me being, like, kind of exasperated. So many tinted rocks and yet not a single bomb, but in actuality, I was just excited that we have the opportunity to open this one up. And it does pay out with the spirit heart. We picked up a little bit of money as well. So far, so good. So now we can take, uh, well, we can take one deal with the devil, for sure, or two deals with the devil if one of them gives us some form of spirit hearts or, you know, brings us back to life or something. Not Guppy's Collar, though. It's got to be more reliable than that. I am taking a little bit more time to, to shoot all the poops. You never know if that's going to come in handy, especially in a situation like this where, as Blue Baby... Oh, man, you got me hemmed in something good here. Um, especially as Blue Baby, where, you know, we could maybe buy one Spirit Heart as a result of having five cents, and that would uh, make a big difference when it comes to choosing what deals the devil to take. But for now, there's no way around uh, us having to go through this big room. But luckily, it's not that bad of a big room. We're just going to pop this open and just spam shots in like crazy. If we stay far enough back, we can be out of the range of most of these flies. And, you know, I used to tackle this room by, like, going around the outside and doing a bunch of, you know, swivels and pivots and circles and strafing and stuff like that. It's not necessary. You just keep it up like this. You will be fine. Well, you'll forgive me, probably. I don't really want to, uh, use my... Batteries in order to get more poop, just in case we get a better spacebar item. I'd rather just keep those batteries around. K 
Keys are out of control. There's got to be a penny. Yeah. Oh, and more bombs, too. I love how as soon as I said I was getting more diligent about shooting the poop, I just, like, didn't. But in my defense, there's quite a lot of poop over here. you got to admit. So for one bomb, we should check down here. For one bomb, we can get two cents there. Combined with the one cent here, that would take us to eight, which is more than seven, which means we could buy something on discount. Uh, we just got more bombs and a little bit more money, which means if we find a secret room, we could probably buy a 15 cent item from our shop. Do we really want sharp plug? I don't think we want anything in here. There's no spirit heart, right? No, no spirit heart. Hmm. I mean, sharp plug can be great. I don't think I really want... I don't need it, that's for sure, but I don't think I really want it either, which is a little bit more damning. Uh, we do, we, we gain so much in basically all categories of consumable back there that I am totally going to open up some of these golden chests. Or one of these golden chests, we only have one. Uh, and hope for the best. I didn't notice that tinted rock until it was almost too late. There's a golden chest right there with the infamy in it. Starting to get to the point where now I'm maybe not so excited about using a bomb and a key to open a golden chest. But still, I'm, I'm glad that we got infamy out of it. Especially early. I mean, I say that a lot, but that's going to save us a lot of uh, damage over the course of a run. Butterbean is just goddamn terrible. A legitimate candidate for the worst item in the game. I think most people would agree with that. So this should find our secret room as well. Yeah. And we got a Hanged Man card. Which, I actually love the fact that we picked up money here as well. But I love the Hanged Man card because it basically means for a bomb, we got a secret room and a key. Which is pretty good. We're up to 18 cents with three keys. That basically pays for our shop on the next floor. I'm not going to shoot the fire until we have to shoot the fire. Because it's possible it'll just kill all the enemies. But that guy decided to live. That's okay. I don't know why I'm so... I feel like it's so important to check the time. It's not that relevant. You know, we've been doing very well since... I made a resolution to stop caring so much about boss rush. I mean, the only loss that we have is from that... Judas run last time, which as far as I'm concerned, barely counts. It, it counts. It counts the same as any other one does, but um, it shouldn't, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Basically, we got we got screwed by RNG. It happens, though, you know? Mark of a great player is how you can, uh, you know, deal with the inevitable RNG that happens in, in Isaac. So, old bandage doesn't really do too much for us beyond the initial spirit heart, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, this is great. Okay. Pentagram is uh, awesome. Now Old Bandage actually does do something for us. And with Dark Bum, uh, we, we shouldn't have to worry too much about our HP for the rest of the game. But, you know, we got to kind of get our show on the road here first. If we can get, like, a little chub, or if we could pick up a child's heart. Or this is, like, in real life. If we could, Where can I pick up a child's heart? But, no, if we can pick up a child's heart, uh, that would be pretty nice as well. I guess we're going to have to use this here. Are we really going to shoot all this poop? Yeah, and you know what's going to pay out for us? With a single spirit heart. Which is really as much as I could ask for. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Did I... I think I just failed at picking it up earlier. You didn't give me two. And I really wish that we could buy from our shop a... Uh, well, you can buy a heart, we just can't do anything with it after we get it. It's going to be a little bit of a slow burn here. Well, that's going to be at least like one other payout. In fact, there's no way it could be two now that I think about it. But still, this is a really good situation. Basically, we've already gotten three of our spirit hearts back. Maybe we did get two spirit hearts from Judgment there. I don't I don't think so, but maybe. Or from, not Judgment, but uh, Dark Bum. We look pretty badass as well. We got horns popping out of our head and eyes popping out of our skull. I can dig it. Pentagram pickup is nice along the squeezy, good DPS. We'll be hoping to improve it even more in the future. We've got enough money to buy one item from our next shop. And you know what? One Spirit Heart for the Curse Room is something that we can definitely take advantage of here. It actually took one and a half because I had to walk through the fire, but shit happens. Old Bandage paid out with a full red heart, which gave me a black heart in the process. So it ended up working out uh, pretty well. Speed down is not what I'm looking for, but speed still feels pretty okay. Could be better. Damage is definitely uh, solid. It's just kind of a feeling you get. I think it's like one-shotting the uh, the red flies is really like the first mark of pretty good damage. You know, you, you typically one-shot dips, the little poop guys. Uh, you, you typically one-shot them no matter what. 
They have the lowest HP on the floor, I think. The flies, usually they take two shots, so to one hit them, it's the first mark, I think, of, uh, you know, relative damage success. I'm talking out of my ass a little bit, but I do believe it right now. Whether or not I believe it in five minutes is another question altogether. Oh, everybody's favorite room. So, Charm Tears. They're okay. Hope I don't have to go back that way. Uh, and it's better than Fear Shot, although not necessarily better than Dark Matter because of the damage upgrade. But, you know, maybe better than I Mom's Eyeshadow for most enemies. I think you gotta say no to the battery in this case, and you spend eight cents picking up a Spirit Heart and a key instead. Like, the battery plus a lot of items is great. D6 in particular to be able to store rerolls and then unleash them all at once is good stuff. Uh, battery plus the poop is just completely worthless. I, there's no situation I can think of where you'd strategically want to unleash like two poops to fight an enemy. Anyway. That's good. Saves me some money, so maybe on the next floor I can get something done with that. Or maybe I'll just spawn uh, an arcade with our increased chances of getting that instead. And uh, that arcade, well, what am I going to do with that arcade? That's a good question. If there's a fortune teller and we get a lot of money, we would play it. Probably. All right, so maybe an arcade shouldn't be the number one thing on my mind right now, but that's okay. Another spirit heart here as long as we kill Larry Sr. Uh, before one of the Larry Juniors. Might need to kill the silkworms first, too, actually. I'm not 100% sure. And in any case, we'll be at eight spirit hearts again. Guaranteed best chance of getting a deal with the devil, but not a guaranteed deal with the devil. Because there is... Ooh, unless we got a joker. Man, card against humanity. Maybe if we get petrified poop. Um, but because we got a deal with the devil on our last floor, there's a pretty good chance that we won't get one on this floor. I think we're going to be at, like, literally 50% chance. Which is not that bad, honestly. I'll take it. And the good news is, because I just got hit by that eye, it's 50% chance no matter what, not 50% chance, uh, you know, if we don't get hit. So if we can make it happen here, or if it, if it happens, we don't really make it happen, but... If we can get that here, that'd be awesome. Even if we end up fighting Krampus, there is uh, no item Krampus could give me that I would not be a little excited about. Thank you, Infamy, and then I immediately took damage uh, right afterwards, and then Infamy, th I thank you again, because apparently I'm very bad at fighting Peep now. Good. Super Bandage is just pure spirit hearts for us. It gave us three of them. And it's a Krampus fight. I would say be careful what you wish for, but truth be told, like this, this, oh, I didn't mean to use a bomb. It worked, but I didn't mean to use it. I would have preferred to save it. I meant to use, uh, I meant to use the poop. We got a lump of coal out of it. We always can be get a lump of coal, uh, recently at least, which I'm not complaining about that. Let's do all the rooms we can do without, uh, Having to go back through that room where I'm very likely to take damage because of its traps. Alright. Nothing particularly useful. I know people are going to be like, use card against humanity on the big room, shoot it all, get poops and red hearts. I'm so lazy about stuff like that. It's just like, it's a tall order, man. But we do have an arcade. I don't know what I was hoping to find, but it wasn't there. Is that Dark Bum? Yeah, that was Dark Bum that paid out with that spirit heart. So, this room's gonna be a little annoying, but, you know, worthwhile as long as we don't get hit twice. Plus, we you know we're gonna get another consumable at the end of it. We're on caves too? Wide stand there, right? <laughs> stand there and check what fucking floor it is instead of, uh, you know, dodging Chubb. Yeah, very smart idea. I'm not proud of that one. Let's never do that again. Hey, that's how you learn, to some extent. Uh, this is the worst version. This is the worst version of uh, Peep, as far as I'm concerned. Assuming this is the one that shoots the bombs out. I guess it's not, because it's not doing that. Seems to be the version that jumps like a son of a bitch, though. Can't believe I'm only halfway done this goddamn fight. Come on. So we'll be hoping for, like, a real deal with the devil on the next floor, but Lump of Coal for free is fine. It's not like an enormous coup. I kind of treat it the same as picking up a small rock, except you have to fight Krampus for it. So, you know, when you get small rock, you don't go, oh, small rock! Like, that's hot shit right there. Thank you, Infamy, by the way. Um, you go, eh, small rock, that's pretty good. That's probably the best possible outcome there. And 
was gonna say thank you, then I took it back at the last minute because I was mad. So let's blow this up at the very least. We could maybe get some red hearts out of it via old bandage. Well, that was nice. Um, but I'm not really worried about... Well, that was nice. I'm not really worried about doing that. I'd rather just stick with things this way. Thank you for the spirit heart. All right. We're going too slow to worry about boss rush, which is probably a godsend for some people. That actually worked out very well. Dark Bum will be half a heart from paying out with something. Statistically, probably a spirit heart. The extra key is nice. Uh, plus, we picked up an extra 10 cents. Now, money equals power has showed up a, a good deal recently. Wouldn't mind if it showed up again right here. Curse of the Maze. It's one of those ones I only seem to notice when it actually happens. Same with Curse of Blindness, actually. So we'll go back for that bomb. I apologize, sometimes I'm just a little too quick going from room to room. It's a bad habit. I end up spending more time because I have to backtrack. My whole motivation for that is going quickly, but it's not that necessary. We're gonna be at... <laughs> just did it immediately again. Um, we're gonna be at 43 cents, which is uh, probably where you'd start to think that we can pretty much buy like one item in every shop for the rest of the game. Or two items in our next shop. Seriously? I thought I was doing a little bit more damage than that. We might as well, I guess, take Swallowed Penny. One of those items that, uh, you know, they, they don't really synergize, but I like having a lot of items that give you stuff when you get hit. Some of them kind of suck, like, uh, Infestation and Spider Baby. Not that good. But, you know, if it only takes up a trinket slot, I'm fine with that. Then every time you get hit, you're like, you're you're not happy you got hit, but you're like, well, you know, I got hit, but it works out. You know, sometimes it can be beneficial. You had like old bandage and swallowed penny and gimpy and piggy bank and fanny pack. Like every time you got hit, you would be like having a Halloween party or something like that. All right, so this is our boss fight. Well, never mind. This is our boss fight. Not oh, this is great. I'm not necessarily expecting a deal with the devil after this, although it would be nice. Um, but Little Chad plus Dark Bum as Blue Baby is is a really reliable Spirit Heart generator for us. Very helpful. Not sad to have it. Actually happy to have it. Which is rare with Little Chub. Little Chad, sorry. Although I, uh, I guess I've come to like Little Chad a little bit more recently. There's our secret room with a battery in it, which, again... Probably want to wait on that one until uh, you see if there's any better items on the floor, but whatever. It's all good. If we're stuck with the poop, we're stuck with the poop. Unlimited keys. It's good because I will be opening some doors in the near future if, I, uh, if I'm lucky enough to find the item room in the shop. Didn't really seem like the greatest uh, charming there, but that's okay. I assume you tried. It's the thought that counts. Oh my god. Well, at least we landed that one. Dark Bomb might pay out, but we can just walk him over here. Yeah? Okay, so... Again, this this little... Uh, little Chad Dark Bomb stuff is going to be awesome for us. Just in case you thought I was being willfully disingenuous. I was not being willfully disingenuous. This is a combination I'm a big fan of. Speaking of which, where's Big Fan? It's been like four runs since we've had it now. It's supposed to show up every run. Uh, if you're a fan of mine, you will never bring up that damage ever again. Nothing. Petrified poop would make me replace uh, Swallowed Penny for sure. We must have like a double uh, corridor and yeah, basically that's... This was the structure I was trying to describe but could not wrap my brain around it. Hmm. So I think we buy both of these here. And we will, uh, we shouldn't have purchased that probably, but that's okay. We still have a lot of money. And Concussive Tears is fine. Why uh, not keep the poop? First off, can you... Well, actually, that is a complete sentence. That's what I get for being a pompous asshole. Um, I think our best bet is to use... To save... Yeah, our best bet is to save... 
Pandora's box and then use it on womb one. It's either caves one or womb one. Caves two is not good, if I remember correctly. I think we'll take left hand too. Just gotta remember to drop it. Caves two is not good. I believe depths one is good, but womb one is the best. Well, except for the cathedral, which can give you an angel item, but we'll play that by ear because we might want to replace it with a better spacebar item by that point if we have the opportunity. We might want to replace it with a better spacebar item at any point, to be honest with you. Um, but the, you know, it's basically the reason I got rid of it and uh, took the uh, Pandora's box instead of the poop is because, let's be honest, we're not missing out on too much. The poop has not paid out super nicely for us. We don't have money equals power. It's not that big of a deal. What we do have now is contract or uh, humbling bundle. Humbling bundle combined with dark bum. I don't think it synergizes with little Chad, but combined with dark bum should be extremely nice. Well, you know what? We can pop in here, see what you got, then leave because that's bullshit. I don't feel bad about leaving that room. That room is absolute horse hockey. Yeah, so that's my reasoning there. And also, Humbling Bundle. It's good. It's very good. Yeah, I don't think it works with Little Chad. I think we saw Little Chad drop half a red heart. So I guess we're uh, we're stuck with his normal payout. But that's still like very, very good. And uh, then every time we have a red heart drop... That was terrible. Every time we have a red heart drop, it'll double. It probably synergizes with old bandage, though, now that I think about it. Anyway, we'll we'll deal with that when we have to deal with it. Monstro's long. I like it. Could blow up the skulls, but kind of want to save bombs for tinted rocks in case we find some. Monstro's lung is a tricky item. That was just not smart. Um... Monster's Lung, a tricky item in terms of its charge time. I will use bombs here. Just a little easier to see what we get. Eh, just take the Emperor card. Um, but if we can get, like, some absurd tiers upgrades, we've already had a few, actually, but if we can get more, uh, it's awesome. And, of course, the more damage we get, the better as well. You're funny. Well. That was very lucky that Infamy saved me there. Don't mind a greed fight. Will set us up nicely for the next shop. Especially with uh, the Humbling Bundle money payouts right there. We pretty much have enough money to buy whatever we want from the next shop. As many times as we want. Forever. So we're up to 49 cents. Everybody wants you to save Pandora's box for the cathedral. Everybody wants to see God at. Everybody wants to be Sacred Heart. Everybody wants to see Sacred Heart, I should say. But, um... You know, what you don't want, or what you don't think about a lot of the time, is the holy waters, you know? Twice now it's happened to me where I've taken Pandora's box up to the cathedral, or gotten it on the cathedral, which is actually even nicer, but, um, you know, taken it up to the cathedral and uh, gotten holy water. You save an item, have it occupy your spacebar slot, and then it pays you out back with, like, the worst item that you could possibly get at that point. Not the worst item in the game, but the worst item that you can get from uh, from Pandora's box, for sure. So I, I kind of prefer getting two boss room items, which I think you get um, on Depths 1. I hope I'm not messing that one up. This should be a deal with the devil. All right, well, instead, we're just gonna get a random spirit heart from the HP upgrade, or a lone spirit heart, not random. Been to our item room, been to our shop. Did leave a little bit on this floor, but that's okay. All right. It's time for the mom fight. I'm very pleased with the way this run is set up right now. We have uh, good damage. Monstro's lung is a nice kind of like... It's the bread in a synergy sandwich, if you know what I mean. Like it, uh, It's a nice structural thing to have to, to allow you to have some more variety in your synergies. So I'm happy to see it. I like it. Pandora's box has some very nice potential upside. Deb's one Pandora's box might actually be uh, four spirit hearts. So I actually feel good about not taking that. Even though that could be better than what we end up getting. Uh, I think it's for the best that we didn't take it on the last floor. Now Deb's uh, two. Man, that's 
Well, we can use this to maybe get something here. Depths to Pandora's box is one. Oh, is one I know. It's twenty cents. Maybe if you had money equals power and a good space bar item showed up, you would be okay with that. Uh, for me, I have no interest in it. Although it would take us to sixty-nine cents, which is, of course, the magical number. Thank you for the spirit heart. Let's see what we got in our curse room. Uh, could be good. Oftentimes you can get head items inside of a curse room stone chest. Instead, we're just gonna get a lot of fodder for uh, for Dark Bomb to pay out with Spirit Arts, which should at least pay for us coming into the room, which is nice. And 48 hour energy, which is meaningless. All right, so we're at the HP cap, feeling pretty good. Trying not to walk on the spikes. Middling effort so far. Knockback uh, from Monstro's Lung can also be nice. It can also be meaningless, and it can also be bad, depending on if you're fighting like zombies or something, but for the most part, it'll work out for you. Ah, okay. We have zero guppy items, don't we? It's a little surprising. Nice. It's a little surprising, considering we've had left hand for a decent amount of time. Um, we definitely don't want to fight the boss right away. Thank you, Infamy, by the way. Never want to let Infamy feel like it's taken for granted. It's an extremely important part of uh, our complete breakfast. In the standard complete breakfast uh, picture, Infamy's like, it's like the grapefruit. It adds a nice little tang to the run. I mean, it's not the, it's not the orange juice. That would be Monstro's Lung. Nor is it the, um, the cereal. That would be more like our pentagram type stuff going on right now. Pandora's box would be like if, if it was like soy milk instead of regular milk. The analogy's falling apart a little bit, alright, I'll admit. Our shop, not greed. Blank, I mean, it's a bit of a tough call, isn't it? Blank card emperor is pretty good, but if we use Pandora's box, I, I didn't really mean to buy that, but this could be okay. Ugh. Well, we got a tears upgrade. I think I'm just gonna stick with what we've got. Cause Pandora's box is just gonna give us well, sorry, uh, Blank Card Emperor. I mean, not that we're necessarily going to stick with the Emperor card forever, but it would it would allow us to finish the game quickly. But is that really what we're looking for? I don't know. There's Guppy's Paw. I apologize for that gastric flatulence. This is not flatulence if it's a burp. Can't control it. It's like a sneeze. It just comes out of nowhere. I'm not the kind of person who tries to burp on purpose. That stuff's a little gross. You know, to each their own. Not my style, though. Well, I'm a little bit not happy with the speed at which we're dealing with Monstro 2, considering how often Monstro 2 can show up later, but I am super psyched to have gotten a guppy item for free with a... Might as well, I guess? With a decent chance to get a deal with the devil coming up. We still have our item room to go to. <clears throat> it's got to be around here. I mean, this is the most obvious sentence of all time. It's got to be around here somewhere, but like, it, it's it's got to be close, and it's right there, as we've seen. <laughs> now, we also have a double key room, which is an interesting little bit of sassafras. Let's see what it is. We got the keys to spare. That'll reroll our whole run. I don't want it. I'm already. Excuse me. Well, I'm certainly not going to pay for blank card. I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> you know, in another world, we could do something incredibly silly. Take the blank card, re-roll our whole run, and then buy the blank card again. Why would we do it? Pretty much just because we could. You got to admit, it would be ridiculous. Functional? No. Not even close. Ridiculous, though. Anyway, I'm just going to stick with what we got. I'm happy with it. You know, it's like Cheryl Crow said in her magnum opus 2002 smash hit summer jam, Soak Up the Sun. It's not having what you want, it's wanting what you've got. And I want what we've got. We're in a good situation here. I really don't want to reroll Dark Bum, Old Bandage, Little Chad. <laughs> I have to change my voice every time it happens because I forget which one it is. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll take them both. Sign me up, Scotty. That's not really how that phrase works, but you get the idea. 
HP is going to be a little low, but that's the idea. You know, we have little Chad and Dark Bum, so it comes back up. Hopefully. Curse of Darkness. Not, uh, not a bad curse. You know, th this might as well be fucking 12 noon in terms of visibility compared to what the Vita version is like. So I am not going to complain about that at all. Rotten Baby is, is good. Let's phrase that more stylistically. Rotten Baby is A, good, but also B, uh, kind of an insulation in case we don't get... It worked. Uh, yeah, what's this? I can see yeah, That's pretty good. It's kind of an insulation in case we don't become guppy. We'll still generate some flies, which is going to give us some potent damage. Oh, I meant to use Pandora's box. Yeah, yeah, that went fantastically. We'll get HP tears up, damage up. Shot speed down. Whatever. We got a range upgrade, too. Pretty good. Yeah, that extra damage is helping out kind of nicely here. I mean, Larry Jr. is maybe not the appropriate enemy to test that on, because he's pretty low HP to begin with, but... I, I, I consider that a pretty successful Pandora's box usage. Considering that if we'd gotten rid of it, we would have gotten 20 cents and blank card instead. Blank card plus Emperor. Now, blank card plus Emperor might have made it so for the rest of the game. We pretty much just teleported directly to bosses and won instantly. But uh, I, I kind of like this. I don't mind taking my time. Because the longer we take, the more Spirit Hearts we're going to get from Dark Bomb anyway. The better chance our success, uh, or the better our chances of success are. To phrase it in the most awkward way possible. Yeah, our damage is it's quite good now. That's got to be a payout. Uh, speed down. Not, not so interested in that one. We'll absolutely go to the curse room, though, because we are only one guppy item away from success in that regard. I haven't had a... I haven't had a great guppy chance today. I'll sacrifice two spirit hearts for it. Uh, no, I'll sacrifice one and then we'll have a secret room on our way out. Might not even... I guess I didn't even sacrifice one. I didn't gain anything, but I didn't sacrifice anything. Might be able to skip the big room altogether. Key room. Well, that's got to be a library. Um, or some unique room. Uh, either way, it's okay because I don't have a spacebar item, so... Sure, two of spades. Throw down Judgment here. Uh, to get Book of Secrets is actually kind of okay. I mean, it's not great. But it's something. It does help. This room overall has been a net positive for sure, though. Yeah, lucky foot. I'll take it. Dark bum. I'm sorry, you uh, were supposed to actually be uh, picking up that half heart. It's bad damage. Forgot about permanent Polaroid invincibility. Is that the first time we've been hit on this floor? That's pretty good then. How are you not dead, but the other one died so quickly? Nothing. That's fine. Another big room. Emperor card. You know, oh, Jesus. It's something that's on the back of my mind, but... This is not going well. Uh, it's something that's on the back of my mind, but I, I really prefer, if possible, to use it on the cathedral. No, yep, yep. Oh, it's good. Okay, all's forgiven since we got that double red heart drop. I mean, Dark Bum chose to pay me back by paying out with spiders, but that's okay. He's going to pay out right here again. Oh, uh, or not. Okay, well. Well, at the very least, we got the spiders out of our system there. Right, Dark Bum? Right, Dark Bum? Probably. Probably. We don't need the money. I recognize that's a lazy man's approach, but we, like, stand nothing to gain from it. Would have preferred some red hearts in there for Dark Bum, but this is fine, too. Now, this is a situation where it would be lovely if we managed to pick up... Oh, jeez, good. It would be lovely if we managed to pick up a deal with the devil. It almost doesn't matter what's in the deal, just that we get a deal. Ugh, just synth oil. I mean, synth oil's good. Wow. Spider City here. Somebody's getting too big for their britches. I'm a little tempted to use the Emperor card here, but it, it's so much better to use it on the Cathedral. And the synth oil pickup, again, it's good from a damage standpoint. I can't really complain. The, the thing that I'm complaining about is the fact that we 
Mm, yeah, we'll see it through. Uh, is the fact that we didn't get a... Uh, ooh, that would have been awesome on the last floor. Uh, is the fact that we did not get a deal with the devil, which I felt was our, you know, God-given right. Now let's remind ourselves... On the cathedral, you drop the left hand. Probably smart to do it as soon as I think of it on the cathedral. Probably start smart to do it right now. But I do want that increased chance of becoming guppy as well. So, you know, I am trying to have my cake and eat it too to some extent. This is the lamest joke of all time, but I can't get it out of my head. They should make a movie called Have Your Cake and Eat It. So that when it inevitably you know, was a box office smash hit success, they could make a movie called Have Your Cake and Eat It Too, unironically. Don't go posting that to our shower thoughts. You'll probably hit the front page. You'll probably be a millionaire. Go buy a mama a house. Oh, okay. That was almost some legitimate damage. There's a mini boss down here. We've already fought Gluttony. Uh, that was not so good. How about this, though? That's better. Uh, I'm interested in this boss room as well. On the off chance, you know, maybe we could end up fighting anything and getting a guppy item. Mm, it's a possibility. Well, we got a spirit heart out of it nonetheless. Hopefully, easy bosses. It's not the. I thought this. It's just Curse of Darkness playing tricks on me, but I thought this was the uh, bomb fly fistula. I guess I'm happy it's not because we got through it without taking damage anyway. Chug. We're doing good damage, you know, it's no epic fetus damage, but we're doing good damage against Chubb. And slowly but surely, turning these red hearts into spirit hearts via the dark bum engine. We've gained a couple on the past few floors, which is actually pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, sure, let's use 48 hour energy, right? Can we already see everything now? Pretty much. I'm gonna save this then and use it immediately on the chest because on the cathedral we're just going to use the emperor card good 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 wow um well i pretty much hate this our best possible hope for an outcome here is shoot the whoop and our second best is a troll bomb so i'm not holding out a whole lot of hope that we're gonna feel very positive about this room Ah, uh, we got two bombs for finishing it anyway. It's something. It's not good. <laughs> Fuck this room, though. This room is the worst, man. The good news is, pretty soon we're going to be able to choose just not to do it. Ah, oh, we're done. Okay, fuck those bombs. I'm not going back for them. We're going to go back for them. Because I need to go to the secret room anyway. If it's at all possible. Well, that's going to make it a little easier. I don't need the bombs, though. I mean, there's not many reasons not to get them. Laziness is a reason, though. Yeah, it's a good health upgrade. We'll come back here. Do we know? Eh, we'll check them out. What do you got for me? Maybe even an HP upgrade in your speed down. Ooh. Amnesia. Pretty pleased with those thus far. Maybe a tears upgrade? I think one of these might be a tears upgrade. Well, that ended up being worth it. 48 hour energy and... Boo, bad gas. Alright, well. I don't really want 48 hour energy. I mean, I do, but I'm gonna have to stick with the Emperor card instead. Let's fight Mom's Heart. Good start, I'd say. That was very bad damage, but in my defense, I didn't think I was gonna take it. Well, in my defense, I'm stupid and miscalculated. Not much of a defense, but it's the honest truth. There's something to be said about that. So we're going up to the cathedral because that deal with the devil is meaningless. Popping the Emperor card, fighting Isaac, using Book of Secrets on the chest. I think that we can probably safely call this run fairly won. Red chests? Ooh. Okay, we open. We get out. We drop our Emperor. No, we can't. Okay, we drop our left hand. Drop the left hand. Drop the left hand. Take the Emperor card. I did it, Mom. I remember to drop the left hand. Even though I did it in the most convoluted way possible. I wanted to keep the left hand for that room so we'd have a better chance of getting red chests. Um, but I didn't want to take it into this fight because I would probably forget to drop it. 
I, I would love to defend myself and say, no, I would have remembered, but let's be honest, you know, our track record kind of speaks for itself there, doesn't it? You know, there's there's a, a hint of reality in every joke, and there's a lot of jokes about me not dropping the left hand. I can take those hints. Monster has Lung doing good work so far. Hopefully no Curse of the Blind on the chest, and if it is Curse of the Blind, hopefully it's still a little kinder to me than our last Curse of the Blind was. Hopefully he wasn't about to drop something. He had a little bit of a twinkle in his eye. Mr. Boom. BFF. It's BBF, sorry. Ouija board. Stigmata. Stigmata's good. Um, BBF, or sorry, yeah, BBF. BBF's good. Ouija board is fine. We don't have any kind of bomb synergies, but still, I, I think BBF gets a bad rap, man. Maybe, I, I haven't really heard much discussion on the item, but a lot of what I've heard on Twitter is like, man, BBF hurt me, it sucks. Yeah, but think, you don't notice when it helps you so much, you know? It's very helpful. That was Mr. Boom and not Mr. Mega, right? Like, it had a smiley face on it and everything. Yeah, okay. We got lucky, actually. See, there's BBF sword and shit out for us right there. Um, we're lucky with the uh, Book of Secrets that we got the map right off the bat. That gives me the direction that I can go. And then we don't really need the compass because the floor is, this floor at least, is set up so linearly that it's fairly obvious where the boss room has to be, at least the general area. I mean, there's really like only one path that we can take from here. And maybe we'll be able to find some secret rooms along the way. You know, we've been hit twice, but Old Bandage paid out both times. Now, unfortunately, Dark Bum took that opportunity to pay out with a spider. Basically making those two times that Old Bandage pay out work against me. That shit's gonna happen, though. Dark Bum's still a net positive, without a doubt. Wish I could stop taking so much dumb damage. Oh, we got the Steam Sale, though. Can't complain. Now we can buy items for half price. All we need to do is find a store. So, because I'm an idiot, it should be a little difficult for me, actually, to uh, avoid killing Gluttony. Yeah. So we're going to be stuck with bombs instead. Really should have killed Gluttony last. We're going to get an item anyway. Uh, you know, <sighs> technically, we could win the game with Nod Leave just by standing still and letting BBF do what it does. That's a terrible way to live my life. I, you notice I didn't say it's a terrible way to live your life. If you want to live your life that way, you got your own prerogatives and priorities, Britney Spears. So you do whatever you want to do with your life, and I'm going to choose not to do that. But we can share other things. Like, we probably both like ice cream. If you don't, like, there's a lot of people that don't like ice cream as well. You're not that unique, you know? Don't go writing into Reddit about that one. Does anybody else not like ice cream? Yeah, dog, they exist. Anyway, I'm not going to do that. But if things get tough, maybe I'll decide to do that. That was bullshit how the haunt was still in his period of invincibility. Come on now. Uh, we should go back for that. See if we can kill death first. So that exact thing didn't happen. Pestilence a little bit less of a motherfucker, all things considered. Lots of money, not too much to do with it, but again, half price sale. Boy, if we can ever find some items. I am looking forward to that. Maybe we'll get lucky and find our uh, second secret room. I'm a little skeptical. That was a good BBF right there. I am making the ultimate like double adversary mistake here, by the way, of not focusing on one of them and instead trying to take them both out at the same time. It's a very silly idea. Don't do what I do. Ah, Capricorn. That is a great item. And we just picked up like three Spirit Hearts in one fell swoop. Plus, you know, all the statistical improvements that come along with Capricorn. So that's that's excellent. And if I could just get... I don't want War to use BBF, actually. If War could just die before that, which it did, that would be beautiful. We never did end up finding our secret rooms there. So our uh, damage and litany of status effects should be... Very difficult for Blue Baby to deal with here. We're already about maybe 30% of the way through the fight. 50% of the way through the fight, thanks to BBF there. It does hit you sometimes, I'll admit. I've been hit by it. I've been struck by the smooth criminal. 
Easiest win. Well, not easiest win of all time. It, probably the easiest win we've had semi recently. Because semi recently, I lost. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that run. That one was a lot of fun. Any run where I can get monster as long as cool in my book. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.